Hey, I'm Dennis O'Brien from Make Your Film, and today I want to talk about food because I think people forget sometimes about feeding the crew or they uh, dust off the old pizza idea. And you know, pizza can work, but it's not the be all and end all. So if you're in a long shoot and you've worked with people for many days, you can throw a pizza in, but you know, get a Caesar salad, get some fresh bread, you know, dress it up a little bit. Look, if people are going to be on your set for hours on end, you know, four or five hours, then lunch, and then another four or five, six hours or longer, you got to feed them and you got to feed them hot food and you got to have options for people. And it's not that big of a deal. And it's actually a bigger deal, though, than sometimes than than even good, you know, uh, uh, equipment. You know what I'm saying? I'm not talking about cameras, but I'm, what I'm saying is. The mood on the set sometimes is controlled by the food in the belly. And if you really want to do something with your filmmaking career and you're not a, a, a beautiful, you know, cameraman or something else, and you're like me, you're a, you're a loudmouth producer, you'd better learn how to cover people and take care of people and make sure they get paid, make sure they get fed, make sure they can park their car. You know, you're you're serving those people because they're serving you. So your my best advice is to keep it hot. If you're trying to save money, you can bake ziti and do stuff like that, like my wife and I have done on many occasions. You know, we make something the night before. We make sure we've got a way to heat it up. Sometimes it works, too, because you're in a location where you can't actually have sit down food or anything and something like a baked ziti with a microwave running off a generator isn't a stupid idea. So you can do this, but even on a very small shoot or on a wacky shoot or on a music video, find a way to feed people because you're going to get better results. There's lots of ideas like this I have on my growing channel, Make Your Film, and also on my website, makeyourfilm.net. I've got a book coming out called Make Your Film, <clears throat> and I'm going to have a standalone course that goes with it. So it's a fantastic time to be involved in the film business. There's a lot of resources out there. You can learn a lot of things for free. And the most important lesson I always tell people is get a damn yellow legal pad and start writing stuff down and figure out what you have and figure out what you don't have. And I think you'll find you'll be much happier in knowing that you took steps in the right direction than you just sat around at a bar stool and talked about it. So if you want to make your film, there's never been a better time to make your film. My name is Dennis O'Brien. My website is makeyourfilm.net. Now go make your film.